Hey guys, Buffin Game Bad today, bringing you a video for our favorite weapon series for our Warzone weapons. And today we're going to go back and cover a weapon that I've talked about here in the past, but we're going to be covering the FNFAL, or in this case, the DSA OSW series of rifles, or the Operations Specialist Weapon, which we covered here again on the channel. I'm going to show you the best builds for Warzone. Now this has received some buffs in the latest patch at the end of June, so I'm going to show you the best solo builds as well as some builds that you could take into anything from duos, trios, to quads. I'll show you a few different builds here, and then we'll jump into some gameplay, and I'll walk you through a win that I have with this rifle, and just walk you through how I am thinking through the final circle, and just how the interactions, and walk you through some of the firefights in case you're struggling with wins. So let's go ahead now and jump right into it. We'll back out and take a look at one of the final products here. So this is one of our versions of the FAL, or, or in this case, the DSA 58 OSW Operations Specialist Weapon. So what I'm going to do is we'll back out and I'll build this from scratch first off. So I have a few different builds pre-built, but we'll strip this down. Let me go ahead and take the camouflage off this to start. Smith here. First off for the muzzle attachment, ideally for range as well as sound suppression, you want the monolithic suppressor. However, for some reason, this has a PBS4 silencer on it, which just drives me crazy for some reason. This would never be on a uh fn fal or a dsa 58 so i personally don't run this but if you're looking for the best stats possible you want to go with the monolithic suppressor but in this case i'm going to go with the tactical suppressor again it's going to do all the same pros and cons just minus the damage at range boost that we would see on the monolithic suppressor but again this is just personal preference for the cosmetics and the more realistic build of the weapons that i try and go for so go ahead and select that now for the barrel for this particular build we're going to go with the osw para barrel again this is a 13 inch barrel this is going to assist with our ads speed and our movement speed the cons here bullet velocity as well as recoil control which we'll make up with elsewhere now for the frankensmithing options i'm actually going to select the skull shot variation of this or you could go with the default but you can see for all of these for some reason the smooth dominator has a little bit longer of a barrel which i don't like how it looks especially without a suppressor so i go with the skull shot again just personal preference for the cosmetics of the weapon skip out on the laser for this build and then for the optic on this one i'm going with the four times flip i think this is a really good optic for this weapon this is just going to allow us to toggle between that one times and four times magnification for close quarters or cqc engagements as well as if we're getting into medium or longer range engagements and we need to place more accurate shots at a longer range. It'll allow us to get that four times of magnification zoom. The only cons here, again, with any optic is going to be the ADS speed on this because we're adding that extra weight to the weapon. So let me go ahead and select that. Now, for this particular build, we're going to leave the stock blank as well as the perk and the rear grip. For the ammunition, again, this is personal preference. Again, this weapon itself is really, you can customize it to however you want. There's really no bad build. But for this one, I prefer to have the extra ammunition most of the time and i'm going to run the third round magazine especially with that 762 by 51 nato rounds it's going to hit heavy so i'd rather not have to reload in case i get in multiple gunfights especially in anything from duos up but i do run this in solos time to time as well and i just find it much easier to not have to worry about reloading in case you're getting into some multiple engagements in a very close amount of time so again magazine capacity we're going from the base 20 up to 30 the cons here obviously just going to be movement speed and ads speed so go ahead and select that and then to help us out with the recoil control that we're taking a negation to the recoil control for the osw barrel we're going to go ahead and do the merc foregrip so in the past i've run the ranger but since the merc foregrip received some stealth buffs in the past here the recoil control on this is now actually better so we'll go ahead and select the Merc foregrip for the recoil control as well as a hip fire accuracy in case we get into really sticky situations. Ideally, we don't want to be hip firing this, but it's there if we need it. The cons being the aim walking movement speed as well as the ADS speed for the weapon. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now that is our one of our final versions from the build. Now again, you can use this in really any mode. This is uh, solos, duos, trios, quads. This is a great weapon. I Typically, I think this is my most used weapon that I run here for this FAL or the DSA-58 osw build again and then for camo just to switch things up from the bass the base black build which i really like the aesthetic appeal of that but i'm gonna go mainly i like to run either pitter patter or the china lake i think both look really nice on this weapon so we'll go ahead and do china lake is really what i'm you're i'm gonna be running the gameplay that you'll see so that's one of our solo builds that is my preferred build for the fal now again this is built for close quarters combat so you need to have a fast trigger figure now another build here that you can also run for solos is a really good one as well it's going to be a lot of the same attachments we're just swapping out instead of the osw barrel we're going to go for the longer marksman barrel okay so the marksman barrel is going to assist with the damage at range 
the bullet velocity as well as the recoil control which are some pretty big pros there the only con being the ads speed and the movement speed so this is ideally the best barrel you want to run with this weapon now because we have the longer barrel we're going to go ahead and throw attack laser on there this is a specifically a solo build you put attack laser on there that's going to assist you with that ads speed the aiming stability and the aim walking steadiness the only con again the laser is going to be visible when you are adsing so you just got to be careful about that everything else is going to be the same and then again i just switched up the optic here for personal preference i i swapped between this one the integral hybrid of the Leopold hammer here and that four times flip so this is a good solo build as well it's going to allow for that fast ads speed with that tech laser and again you only have 20 shots here so particularly uh good for solos if you're going anything above that i would say get rid of the tech laser and adjust the ammunition count to 24 or 30 and the ads speed really isn't that bad when you do that so that's a really good one as well and then one more here again this is basically another uh build you can run in any mode is just going to be we're going to use that marksman barrel again that longest barrel to assist us with the bullet velocity and the damage at range and the recoil control so we're getting a lot of a lot of pros there and again we're that's really the only change we're making we're going to keep everything else the same from the first build except that barrel so that's that and then the other thing like i said you can swap out the four times flip for the leopold hammer or the integral hybrid did i go past it yeah integral hybrid right here and then my iron sights or my reticle that i run is going to be that chevron tactical right there and that is a really good build that i run as well so those are the three builds that i would highly recommend for this and if you want to get really crazy with this gun and i have run this quite a bit in some solos and some other gameplay as well is what you can do here is get rid of the tactical suppressor and you can swap out for a factory aluminum stock we can go with any of these ones here and there you have a really nice version as well this again is not going to be suppressed so you're going to be shown by the min map so you want to be careful about how you're firing that but those are my favorite fal builds and as as you've seen here i'll go ahead and rebuild the one that we just covered so we'll go with the osw barrel for the skull shot we'll throw on our four times flip our 30 round ammunition and our merc foregrip and again this is our dsa 58 osw with that china lake camouflage on this weapon really really effective at close quarters engagements if you have a fast trigger finger so let's go ahead now jump into the gameplay and i'll walk you through the win using this okay so to start things off first off i'm going to be dropping on tv for this game this is definitely one of my favorite drop points in the game i really like to have the high ground advantage here that you can get on tv with this drop if you can secure this top roof it really offers a lot of good opportunities for kills and tactical positioning so you can see first off this guy dropped right on me he had the same idea and fortunately for him i dropped a little bit quicker so i'm going to loot a little bit and you can see i'm going to start off with a base fal that you pick up off the ground just no attachments on this thing and i can hear footsteps below me so this is why i'm kind of creeping around here and i hear a guy running not sure where he is i thought it was right below me and then i thought i heard the ladder and there he is he pops pops right up and i'm able to take him out pretty quick with that base fal that you get on the ground so again since this weapon did have the buffs in warzone here you're going to get a much more effectiveness off the ground now here i've been stalking this guy a little bit we have had a couple exchanges of firefights already in he circled around and almost forgot about me and right there you can see i had already broken his armor previously so he must have not had any more plates and i took him out pretty quick now here i'm looting and i run into this guy so this is a i outplay him here a little bit i can hear him rushing so i'm going to drop my gas that i picked up and try and drive him away from me that will at least allow him not to be able to cleanly aim at me and fire and again we both had the same idea to kind of flank around each other and right there i just kind of got the best of him i had tactical position put myself on that wall that way i have some sort of cover and i can mount if needed so now what i want to do is basically i have enough money so i'm going to try and get my loadout at this point so i'm slowly going to try and work up i'm going to cut through burger town so i'm not in the open and here you'll notice i'm going to just check to my right and i see a guy right there i'm not sure what he was looking up at but i'm not sure if he's coming in or around so i'm just going to wait and see where he's moving and right there he just came right in that window and i was able to surprise him and and get the best of him so here i'm going to move and get my load out and you can see here this guy starts shooting at me and i just missed every single shot don't know what that was about um and he had that meta brewing build that just got the better of me so fast forward i win the gulag um pretty handily with a car 98 got a two shot kill on the guy now what i'm gonna do is drop down now there's a guy on the radio tower here that i've just kind of been engaging a little bit and i was able to sneak down here grab my loadout and now he he's basically pinned there and he has to go either left or right to get outside he's trapped by this fence so i kind of have him pinned i'm just kind of wait to see 
what he's doing. I'm not sure if this is the guy that just killed me or not. I'm not sure what kind of weapons he has. So here I'm going to move up. You can see I'm getting good hit markers. Good hit markers. For some reason with that fence, it seems hard to get hit markers. And then again right there, I'm able to finish him with the FAL pretty easily with some good clean upper body to head torso area shots. So take him out pretty quick. Now what I'm going to do is I jumped on a ATV and zipped across the map just based on the circle. I, I was able to look at the circle and see around where this was going to end. And I wanted to be up here at fire station on top of dam, ideally somewhere in here. So I've been stalking this guy for a little bit. There's been some firefights here. He, he or someone else, there was a couple, at least three different people here that were engaged in at some point. And I was just trying to wait because they were firing from fire to the house across the street. So at this point... Now we're engaging each other. He called in a loadout. I'm not sure if he actually had a loadout at this point and just called in a second one, but we're going back and forth with some firefights here. I'm not sure where he went, so what I'm going to do is position myself behind this rock for cover. Just try and see where he is so I can reposition where needed. And there he is in the tower. I'm able to get two to three hits on him. Put down some suppressive fire here a little bit. See if he's going to peek again or not. And again, I don't want to stay in one spot, so I'm going to reposition at this point, he's going to be thinking that I'm still on that rock or at least right behind this garage where I am or where I was previously. So I want to move to this house again. Now you can see I'm a little hesitant. I'm going to be a little careful here because there was fire coming out of this house earlier. And I'm not sure who survived or if there's anybody else besides this guy I'm engaging still left up here at fire. So I'm looking around again, trying to peek to see if he's at the loadout, if he got his loadout and picking him up on the heartbeat. And we have a pretty interesting firefight here. I'm trying to figure out, Mark, where exactly he is and estimate the distance of my heartbeat, but they removed uh, distance from your pings, unfortunately. I'm not sure why they did that. So here he's winning that firefight. I get uncovered just in time. I realize I'm not going to win that. Um, and he's just hammering with the fire. So I have the idea he's going to push. So I pop this trophy. And you can hear him running up. The trophy gets that C4. He's in the house. And right there, I just, I really, a little bit of luck and a little bit of play. I, I waited last second. I should have thrown that C4 just a little bit earlier. It was cutting it really close. Luckily, I was positioned behind that support beam, which was able to absorb some of that fire and allow me to finish him off pretty quickly. So that was a pretty intense firefight. I've been stalking him for a little bit, trying to get position. Now, this guy, I had been waiting again, stalking him a little bit. He was just in a sniper fight. Now, he's trying to rotate, and I he does not know I'm there at this point, so I'm just going to try and get in a spot where I can cleanly take him out. And again, you can see about three to four shot kill right there um, when I'm hitting my shots. So, again, this is a close quarters engagement weapon. At longer ranges, you want to slow down your fire rate a little bit, not what I did there. So, here's a guy in a tower. So, right there, it took three shots. I'm assuming he had full armor. Took me three shots to the head, I believe that was, or at least upper body and two to the head to finish him off. So at this point, it's 1v1. I just picked him up on the heartbeat at fire. Not quite sure specifically where he is, though. And at this point, I almost made a mistake. There's, You see that explosion there? Now, that was him actually throwing C4 up there. I was didn't put that together at the time. I wasn't sure if there was someone back up in the tower or if something exploded. So I'm trying to be cautious and try and wait before I push down. And at this point... You can see him there. He does not see me. He's under the impression that I'm still on the other side of the roof or that the guy in the tower is still the last guy alive. And right there, I hit him with a couple shots with the FAL and he decided to jump down. I don't think he still even knew where I was, but I wasn't going to take any chances and just finish him off with my MP5 right there just in case, um, especially because I had already fired quite a bit of shots with the FAL. I didn't want to run out of ammo right there. So able to finish him off again. This is the FN FAL with the new buffs again. They turn it into the DSA-58 OSW for the Operation Specialist Weapon. Or if you're going to run it with the Marksman Barrel, just essentially the DSA-58. Really good weapon. One of my favorite weapons to run in Warzone. Even prior to the patches, I've done a lot of videos on this in the past, which I'll link down below. But let me know down below what you guys think. Until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.